Good to see you. How are you today? I'm fine. You are? Okay, that's good. And what did you do today? I'm learning at school today. Okay, so is this the first time that you saw your classmate at school? Yes. Yes, and how was it? It was great. It was, okay. And did you meet a lot of friends? Yes, I yes. a lot. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, how about the weather? Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. I thought it's rainy. <laughs> so it's sunny. Okay. All right. Well, anyways, for today, we will continue to study your book. So please wait. Uh, let me share it with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here it is. Can you see your book? Mm, yeah. Okay. So the other uh, day, we had learned about these words. So we have a bottle, can, loaf, packet, and piece off. Okay, so yes, I guess you already know how to make use of these words. Okay, so when there are one or two or more loaves, we are not going to say loaf. We say loaves, okay? two loaves, three loaves, okay, but one, we say one loaf, okay, loaf only. All right, so now let's try to complete the phrases below. Mm -hmm. Number one, please read. A piece of cheese. Piece, okay, a piece of cheese, all right. What about number two? A packet of crisp. A packet of crisp. Okay, three. A bottle of apple juice. A bottle. Bottle of, okay, please wait. Of apple juice. And four. A can of pears. Very good. Okay, so that's how you make use of okay these words. All right. Now let's try to do how much and how many. Okay, so yes, do you know already how to make use of this one in a question form? So how much? Okay, how much water do we need? How many? So how much meaning to say it's not or it can't be counted, okay? You cannot count the water, right? You cannot count the water, so how much? How many? Okay, it means you can count, okay? You can count the numbers of, okay, of these foods, drinks, or things. All right, so let's try to make and complete the sentences. Okay, number one. Yes, please. Number How one. How many carrots do we need? Many. Okay. Number two. How much cheese do we need? Okay. Three. How many packets of crisps do we need? That's right. Four. How many bottles of juice do we need? That's right. Five. How many oranges do we need? How many oranges do we need? Okay, very good. So I guess you already know how to make use of how much and how many in a question form. Okay. All right. So wow, we're finished with your okay, with your book. So the first book that we had was this one. Okay, so we're almost done. Okay, so do you have any questions? No. No, all right. So I'm going to open a new book for you. Please wait. Okay, let me see. I'll check first. All right. Okay, here it is. Okay. Okay, give me a moment. 
All right, so I can see it now. Okay, there it is. Can you see your book? Mm, yeah. Okay, so this will be your new book today. So we will talk about the science lesson. All right, so let's first read the sentence here, or the paragraph. Alex. Bobby and Patrick are good friends. They all go to the same school. Today they are in the science lesson. They're having problems doing an experiment. The sad teacher, Mr. Davis, isn't very happy. Okay, that's the sentence or the paragraph there in the uh, lesson or in, in the room. Okay, so we have here Alex, Phoebe, and Patrick. All right. So let's first unlock the words. Okay. What are the words? First. Shell. Two. Shell. Bubbles. Disruptions. Apron. Explosion. Bubble. Gas tube. Liquid. Gloves. Powder. Very good. Okay. So do you know all these words here? No. I didn't. No, test tube. Okay, test tube. Let's see number seven. All right, so this one is a test tube. Look at this one. It's too small, but can you just see it? This one. Yeah, it's like a small bottle. Yeah, small bottle. Yeah, so sometimes we put here the, uh, the chemicals, okay, in a test tube here, okay? So this will be used for experiment, for the experimenting of things. All right, so scientists use a test tube to see, okay? To see uh, or to check, okay, check things using the test tube. Can you see it? Yeah. Is it clear for you? This one? Yeah. Yes, okay. So actually, um, have you tried to go inside a science lab? Yes. Yes. So have you seen a test tube inside the science lab? No. No, okay. Yes, yeah, so, so maybe it's, um, it's, I mean, it's inside the cabinet because a teacher will not allow you kids to, to um, you know, to touch it because it needs to have caution. So you need to be careful of it. All right. So number two, number one is a shelf, a, a goggles, instructions, an apron. Okay. Do you use apron when you are inside the science club? lab i mean do you use apron mm -hmm. yes yeah. of course why why do you think we use apron when we are in the science lab mm -hmm. oh yes that's right okay so for you also uh, not to be stink, okay? Yes, and explosion. So number five, you see the bright one, that's explosion. And then the bubbles, number six, the small ones. The test tube, liquid. Okay, here's the liquid inside the tube. And then um, we have gloves, okay? Do you also use gloves inside the science lab? Yes. Yeah. Of course, okay. And a powder, where's the powder? Here, okay, so powder. All right, so we are done unlocking the words. So let's try to, okay, let's uh, uh, skip the part. Okay, let's read the clues and tick the subjects, okay? So Alex, Patrick, and Phoebe are sometimes in different classes. What lessons did they have yesterday afternoon? Okay, first one. Phoebe only had two lessons. Phoebe didn't sing a song and didn't listen to any music. So what are Phoebe's subjects? 
History and science. History and science. Now, Patrick. Patrick loves all three subjects. So, all three subjects. What are the three subjects? Music. History and science. Correct. Alex. Alex, Phoebe, and Patrick watches a film. Watched a film. The film? What about life in ancient Rome? Ancient Rome. Okay. Alex? Alex only had one subject. And what is it? History. Only history, yes, very good. Okay, what about you? What is your favorite subject in school? Math. Math. Okay, aside from math, only one? And English. And English, yes, because you're good at it. <laughs> okay, so I guess you're very um, focused on studying those subjects, right? And also other subjects too. Yes, okay. So you are also like um, Phoebe because Phoebe likes two, two subjects, history and science. But you, you like math and English. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's just the difference between you two. All right, so now let's go to grammar. Will you please read the sentences? One of the children had Three subjects. Nobody had a class. Alex, Phoebe, and Patrick watched the film. Phoebe didn't have music. Patrick loved all three subjects. Very good. Okay, so as you can see, okay, the words in I mean highlighted words are had, watched, didn't, loved. Okay, so what have you observed in each words? They are all in Yes. Uh-huh. They are all actually they are all in a past tense, right? Yep. Yes. So we use had, okay, if the action is finished already. Also, we are going to add ed or d Okay, if the action is done already, okay? So, didn't also, okay? So, those are some words for past tense, okay? So, again, we use past tense if, okay, what word do we use? Have or had? Had. Had, okay. Do or did? Didn't. Did. Yeah, didn't. Okay, it's didn't. All right. So again, please remember that all these words are in past tense form. So let's try to okay. Let's try to imagine that yesterday was your perfect day. So describe it to me. Okay, you have to describe um the perfect day. So let's say, for example, him. What did he say yesterday? Yesterday was great. I got up at 10 o'clock. I ate chocolate for breakfast and I went to my man to come to me. Then I. Okay, so that's the continuation, all right? So let's say, for example, um, he, okay, so he ate chocolate for breakfast and watched three Spider-Man films on TV. So that's a perfect day for him. What about you? Let's say yesterday was your perfect day. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday? Yesterday. Was? Was it great? Yeah. Okay, it was great. What did you do? I? I was waiting for my first day to go to school. Okay. I was. Okay. I was at school, right? No. Waiting at 
Oh. Okay, I was waiting for two days, right? Two days, first day of school, right? And what else? Did you play some games? No. Okay. I did grab all of my books, notebooks, and my backpack. So did you went to the... Where do you go? Mm -hmm. And went to the Harmony School. Okay, so, so you went to school yesterday, am I right? No, today. Oh, today. Okay, how about yesterday? Let's talk about yesterday. So you said I was waiting for today's first day of school and? And I prepared all of my, my books. Um, I my prepared? My books, pencils, pen, and ruler. Pencils, pen, and ruler. Okay, that's all. Okay, all right. So let's check your sentence. Okay, so very good. Thank you. So you said yesterday was great. I was waiting for today's first day of school and I prepared my books, pencils, and ruler, pen and ruler. Okay, this is actually correct. Very good. So what are the past simple or past tense here in your sentence? Can you tell me which word is past tense? Okay, in your sentence, which word is past tense there? Can you see it? No. No? <laughs> there is, okay? Like, for example, was, right? Was is an, is a past tense, all right? Because you didn't say is, right? I was, and then the word prepared, okay? So you see? prepared it's with d now not without d it's with d so i prepared okay it's because it's already done all right okay understood okay so let's make more example okay what if i say um i uh i read books yesterday and went to my aunt's house played with my cousins in the yard okay so here's my sentence oh now tell me tell me what are the past tense words there went went okay what else played played okay there's one more and and no no well, sorry. Well, no. Yes. Okay, it's actually the word red. Okay, red. Okay, 
I read books yesterday. So, it has the same spelling, but the pronunciation is not the same, okay? It's not the same when you talk about the past for read, okay? For the word, for the present tense for read, it's read, right? I read books today. I read books yesterday. So, it's different, okay? Understood? Yes, okay. So, again, those are the simple past tense. Okay, now shall we proceed to the next part? Yes. Yes. So, listen and write the names, then sing the song. Okay, so we'll just read it since we don't know the tune of this song. Okay, so we will just read. Okay, please do. Phoebe was on the first one. She didn't want to wait. Now she laughed in time because she stepped into that gate. I like the small Phoebe because he's her best mate. And he laughed in time because she stepped into that gate. Patrick was a glad one. But then he always late. And he got lost in time because he stepped out of that gate. Time traveler, they lost in time. Then they were come back in the car that fly. The time travelers traveling so fast. The past is the present. The is the oh, well, thank you so much. All right, so, so Phoebe, Patrick, and Alex is now a time traveler. Yes, do, do you like to join them? <laughs> do you want to be a time traveler too? No. No. <laughs> okay, only Phoebe, Patrick, and Alex will do that. Okay, so... Now let's talk about or go back to this one. Okay, so it says here the person is not very patient. Who is it? Not very patient. Phoebe. Phoebe is, yes, that's correct because she's the first one to step, right? Step into the gate. So it's Phoebe. How about this person went after Phoebe? Who is it? Alex. Exactly. Okay. And this person is Phoebe's best friend. This person is Phoebe's best friend. Who is it? Alex. Exactly, it's Alex. They are best friends. And this person is never early. Who is it? Patrick. Patrick, exactly. And these people can go to the past and the future. Who are they? Phoebe, Alex, and Patrick. Exactly. Phoebe, Alex, and Patrick. They can go to the future and in the past. Okay, so that is so amazing for them. <laughs> All right. So, yes. Now, let's go um, listen and say the dialogue. So, I will be Sue and you'll be Ben, okay? All right, so let's do it. Let's start. Do you want to go to, or do you want to go through the gate too? Okay, very good. So yes, the question is, do you want to go through the gate too? Do you want to go through the gate? No. No, <laughs> because you don't want time traveling. Okay, <laughs> all right, so as you can see here, our rhyming words or the sounds is uh, that has been um, exercised here is the oo and n sound, okay? So oo, do, you, through, to, 
and n is friends and okay so these are the sounds now i want you to say it properly yes please please read the underlined words sue very good exactly okay i like how you pronounce the words it's very clear all right good job now let's proceed to okay read and choose the correct face for each of the children okay so you have to read it first and then choose the correct face okay according to the sentences okay so i will be mom and you'll be alex okay in number one all right so did you have a good day at school today alex it's okay just okay Yes, it's because that's a normal day. Nothing special. All right. So what will be the face of Alex while he's talking to his mom with that? A, B, or C? B? Why do you think so? Yes. Yes, it's because he said... Mm -hmm. because he's not very happy but also he's not very sad it's just so um normal right it's a normal day for him okay so that's a good choice number two i'll be dad and you'll be patrick okay dad how was school today patrick why was it so bad Okay, so what will be the face of Patrick here? Exactly. Look at his face. He looks what? He looks sad and frustrated, right? is not really happy for what happened because he said it's the worst day ever all right now what about okay let's go to uh, phoebe okay what did you do at school today phoebe what I'm reporting in Mexico. I'm so excited. That would be A. A, very good. So this face of Phoebe looks really excited. Okay. Yeah, so these are examples of facial expressions. Okay. So facial expressions. With that first one, just normal for Alex. Two, this face for Patrick is frustrated, sad. Lastly, Phoebe's face is so happy, very excited. Okay, so what if your mom and dad and uh, your brother will go to a trip? What will be your feeling? What's your facial expression? <laughs> happy? of course oh is that the face of happy of a happy face oh yes that's right you look good <laughs> okay so anyways yes we will just continue this in our next class okay yes we're running out of time so thank you and see you again bye bye, bye, -bye.